Kawasaki has refreshed their popular Versus lineup for 2025, rebranding it as the Versus 1100, thanks to a bump in engine capacity that unleashes more power and torque. While competitors like the Suzuki GSX S1000GX, Yamaha Tracer 9, and BMW S1000XR tend to dominate the adventure touring headlines, the unassuming Kawasaki has long been a quiet hero, delivering reliable performance for both rider and pillion. This is especially true for the SE model, which comes packed with features like electronic suspension. Without a direct comparison to the previous model, it's difficult to pinpoint exactly how much the Versus 1100 has improved. However, after spending a full day in the saddle during its world launch in northern Spain, one thing is certain. It doesn't leave you wishing for more. The engine is buttery smooth, offering plenty of low-end grunt and impressive acceleration out of slow corners complemented by a satisfying growl. Leaning more towards the touring side of sport touring, the bike's handling is precise in both tight corners and sweeping turns. The electronic suspension delivers a composed and comfortable ride, while the braking system offers all the stopping power you'd ever need on a long journey. Spacious and well-constructed, it boasts a large, comfortable pillion seat, excellent wind protection, and a host of useful tech. The base model is also a great value for money, though extended rides may lead to a bit of saddle soreness, and it lacks the playful edge of some competitors. The Versus 1100 remains a stellar choice for hassle-free touring. Kawasaki's signature Takako four-piston radial calipers grip the 310mm disc up front, while the rear has been upgraded with a larger 260mm disc. The brake discs are now fully round, departing from the previous pedal-shaped design. Safety tech remains top-notch, with lean-sensitive ABS, traction control, and cornering lights rounding out the package. Weighing in at 259 kilograms in SE trim, up just 2 kilograms from last year, the brakes on the new Versus 1100 are more than up to the task. They offer plenty of stopping power, great feedback, and no signs of fade. The larger rear disc is a welcome addition, particularly for a machine built to carry a pillion and heavy luggage. Using the rear brake not only shortens stopping distances, but also helps keep the bike more balanced and stable under braking. Visually, not much has changed. Aside from the new 1100 badge, the bike looks almost identical to its predecessor. It retains the same bodywork, LED lights, cast aluminum chassis, wheels, Bridgestone T31 Sport Touring tires, and manually adjustable windscreen, among other features. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing. By sticking to a familiar formula, Kawasaki has kept the price in check, and the Versus 1000 didn't have many issues to begin with. The Versus 1100 remains spacious, offers excellent wind protection on motorways, and provides a pillion seat that could rival the size of whales. It's easy to ride and, overall, Hard to fault, though after a full day of riding, the seat did lead to some soreness, a common complaint with the previous model as well. With a displacement increase from 1,043 cubic centimeters to 1,099 cubic centimeters, courtesy of a 3 millimeters longer stroke, power has risen from 119 brake horsepower to 133 brake horsepower, while torque climbs from 75.3 lbfd to 82.7 lbfd. The inline four engine also gets milder cam profiles, new pistons, intake ports, updated ECU settings, and a pair of longer 45 mm inlet trumpets in the center. Kawasaki claims the five euro plus compliant engine feels more urgent. And although we didn't get the chance to compare it directly to the older model, it's clear the engine is smooth, packs plenty of low end grunt, and pulls effortlessly, even in taller gears. When you push it, the bike responds with super bike level acceleration in the lower gears, and it roars through the airbox when you hit full throttle. Kawasaki have tweaked the Versus 1100's quick shifter settings. As before, it's smooth and slick, but now works from just 1500 RPM instead of 2500 RPM, making it easier to short shift out of slower corners and around town. Fifth and sixth gears have also been lengthened, and there's a 1-2 smaller rear sprocket 42T for more relaxed motorway cruising. No longer are you reaching for that elusive seventh gear to calm the engine down. Add in the motor's new heavier flywheel, and its delivery is altogether calmer and more flexible than before. The inline-four is still a workhorse of a power unit, 
and lacks the pizzazz of a triple or the big BHP figures of its rivals, but it's more exciting than before. This iteration of Big Versus has been around since 2015, bar detail changes along the way. Build quality is superb, like most Kawasaki's and MCN's online owners' reviews are glowing. The Kawasaki's main 17 in front wheel tall round arrivals are the BMW S 1000XR, Suzuki GSX, S 1000GX, and Yamaha Tracer 9. It also used to be the Ducati Multistrada 2 until it grew a 19 inches front wheel with the arrival of the current V4 model. With its rivals all available in different trim and spec levels, it's hard to compare like for like, but generally the Suzuki and Yamaha are slightly cheaper and the BMW that bit south here. This SE version comes with cornering traction control, ABS and lights, rider modes, Bluetooth connectivity, as well as semi-active suspension, up slash down quick shifter, manually adjustable screen, TFT display, cruise control, heated grips and hand guards. All Versus 1100 models are now fitted with a USB-C charging port on the left handlebar, although it isn't the neatest thing in the world. The Radiology app that links to the S and SE models TFT dash is now voice activated, although it wasn't available to try during our test. As before, each Versus 1100 model can be ordered with Tour or Grand Tour packs. Prices haven't yet been set, but based on the current machine, Expect to pay an extra 750 pounds for the tour, which includes twin 28 liter panniers and inner bags and tank pad. The Grand Tour should be an extra 1,700 pounds and adds a 47 liter top box with backrest pad, frame sliders, fog lamps, and sat in AV bracket. The 2025 Kawasaki Versus 1100 SE brings a refined and powerful performance upgrade, making it a formidable contender in the adventure touring segment. With its larger 1,099 cubic centimeters inline four engine, up from 1,043 cubic centimeters, it delivers an impressive 133 brake horsepower and 82.7 lbft of torque. This power hike is noticeable, especially during low end acceleration and when pulling out of tight corners. The engine's smooth power delivery ensures the bike remains responsive, even in higher gears offering superb grunt for effortless overtakes or spirited riding on twisty roads. A key highlight of the SE model is its advanced electronic suspension, which provides exceptional ride quality and stability. Whether navigating tight turns or sweeping through fast corners, the suspension keeps the bike composed and predictable. Braking performance is equally impressive, with Kawasaki's signature Takiko radial calipers delivering strong stopping power while the larger rear disc helps maintain stability under heavy braking, especially when carrying a pillion or luggage. The lean-sensitive ABS and traction control further enhance safety and performance in various conditions. Despite its touring-focused design, the Versus 1100C doesn't shy away from spirited riding. Its superbike level acceleration in lower gears adds a thrilling edge to its otherwise composed nature. The updated 5 Euro Plus engine retains a punchy, growling character, 